right, so you mentioned that you're involved with the company. What does involved mean? Because that can be a lot of different things. Yeah, so I have always been involved with Lovely Skin from the beginning. So 1997 was when I came up with the idea of Lovely Skin. I was riding home from a satellite clinic in the car, and I thought to myself, okay, if Amazon can sell books, why can't we sell skincare online? And 1999, we sold our very first product, and guess what? From 1997 to 2002, we lost about $50,000 a year. 2002, Google came around, and all the uh, Bing and all those other things that allowed us to match our products with people and that's when it really took off so it's kind of cool you know if you have a problem if you have a concern you can get through to me if, if you have something that is a problem on a product I'm involved with it I want to make sure that there's no problems with these things and that's the difference of having a board certified dermatologist who owns and operates the website versus having a corporation so doctors Lessinger I'm super excited to ask you about Lovely Skin because it's really the only website that is truly owned and operated by a dermatologist for the last 22 years that is this size, that is competing in this kind of space. So I'm really curious about why? Why did you get into this business? You have a really busy practice. Well, you know, I used to see patients that would come in with bags full of stuff that they bought at the uh, supermarket, sure. the department store, you name it, and I grew so frustrated seeing people spend their money on all these things that promised miracles and didn't deliver okay. that I wanted to get some truth in advertising to this because honestly there are a lot of things that cosmeceuticals can do but there are a lot of things they can't do and to me I think that the trust is paramount in this relationship and so I wanted to in, invite people to have products that were good, that they could credential from mm. a person that was a board certified dermatologist and somebody who knew what was going on rather than take their chances with somebody who may have been trained the, the day before at a department store, has <laughs> no uh, clue what's going on and really has no clue how to, how to improve somebody's skin because it really is a lock and key type of thing. And that's why Lovely Skin is, I think, so unique and so successful.